and welcome in this video we will talk about service and first of all what the what is what we mean by service and what 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 we mean by background receive when you have a specific task and you want this task to happen in background for a long time what you will do you need service and we will discuss in details how to implement service that's mean like think about you have a news app and this news app need to read from http every 15 seconds to check a new news that coming in the server so you need service that working in background even if someone close your application is still that service working you need a lot for example tracking location or whatever what about broadcast receive there is a broadcast even happen in the system like whenever a uh, message come to, to the, the broadcast even saying hey we have sms coming this sms coming he add all this information inside intent he say hey this message coming from that person with this data or whatever or for example when any call coming to your phone so there is a broadcast even to happen also there is intent send it through the system and that intent have the color phone or whatever so you could do like uh, block list application so uh, background receive it's something like related to broadcast event that happen in the system and you want your application to have ability to access to this broadcast event you may use broadcast event that happen in the system like as as i told you like sms or phone call or maybe the boot when your when your phone start up or you could define your custom background receive you, you can define your specific uh, background receive and you listen to it and we will implement it in the details but these two things have some changes in android o version and previous version and i will show you what the changes and you have to know these changes because you need your application to support android o and sometimes you need your application to someone to support the previous version unless uh, the android o will not, for now for example it will only have one percent from the market while lollipops still have more than 70 percent from the market so for sure you want to ta target the most people your goal is not to target only the new you need to target both so you need to know both you need to know how to work with android o and also you need to know how to work with the previous versions so first of all one of the most problem that android had for all years is the android battery the android battery it killing like so fast if you see, if you use an android application you see in two or three hours this battery is get colored so android teams st start working and thinking about how they could improve this battery and may and allow it to have to be stay alive for a long time so you know what i mean you know what you think now same thing what android developer or android team think th think like the thing to do the changes so the changes that uh, android team decided to do say hey there is a service running in background for a long time we have to prevent this thing so to give better life battery or there is broadcast event you need to save personality and that is exactly what happened in android o so for let we start with background service and we we, talk, we said f f before a few minutes we talked a few minutes about ba background service it's something happened in background you want to uh, listen to the news or you want to get user location and send to the server or whatever or whatever you have to know you have to have two things now for background service if you want to target in your application the previous versions like the versions before android or the service is still running in background with, without any problem and it will continue running in background for a long time and you will not have any any problem but if you target in your application to have if you want your application to target android or you have to know the service will not run for long time in background so if your application working and you have uh, your application foreground like my, what i mean by foreground i mean someone open your application and explore something and you have service wo working that's totally okay still your service working if by any chance you click home that is mean your service goes to background start working in background in this case android will give your application specific time then he will call this service so one thing you have to know it 
Android or will not allow to the service to run for a long time. It give it specific time, then it get called. So to save the battery time, the battery life. So now in Android, oh, you, for sure your, your battery will stay for long because you will not allow any for any background service to continue working. So you have to know in your application, you need to target both versions. You say, hey, if this version before, for example, if this device have a version before Android or oh, use service. If this device is using uh, Android or oh, now we have option in Android or. Oh. In Android O, we cannot do service for a long time. But in some cases, we need to do something for a long time, like application for tracking location or whatever. So what is something else Android give us to use? Android give us two things. One of them is job scheduler. It is something uh, APIs in Android. You say, hey, I, ha I have this job, and I want this job to execute at 10, 12, 10 15 a.m. So, and this job will be saved or this command will be saved in Android O. Whenever 10.12 come, the Android or 10.15, sorry, Android OS will say, hey, there is a job, let me send it. He will send this job to your application and your application will execute this job. So here you have guarantee 100% the job will run. How you do it, how you make it the job scheduler work as a service, you could schedule the job, for example, every 10 minutes to fire up. So if you do it every 10 minutes, it will look like a service. So make sure, for example, you want every 10 minutes send user location. So you, every 10 minutes you run job and that's okay. But but the problem here, you cannot make it run continuous. Also, same thing, you could use alarm manager. You could to use it to repeat events by sending alarm every like 15 minutes and read it, the data to your, inside your application. So this is the changes that happen in background and service. What about the GPS? GPS with Android O, you have limit, I, I limit read number from the GPS value. So if your application in foreground, that means user open your application like Google Map, you still have unlimited access to GPS value. While if your application goes to background, you have limit number of access to the GPS, then you cannot read anymore. In Android O, I mean. But if the previous version before Android, that totally okay, you still be able to read all GPS value whenever you are foreground or you're in background. So the idea here, they give you limit number for reading of the GPS when your application be in background in Android O. And sometimes if there is, if, if you, you exceed your limit, so you use it all your limit for GPS, but still there is an application running in background who is using the GPS value, your application still could use the value that read by other application. So if the value is read already, your application, if it's working in background, you still be able to read that data. So now you have to think here, in this point, you say, hey, if, if I'm targeting my application the, for device like before Android O, so that's okay, I still be able to read GPS and limited time. If I'm targeting Android O, I have to know I have limited number of access if my application goes to background. So keep this in your mind when you define, when you develop application, specific application. Now, what's the else? We have something named background receive. We say, we, we talked before seconds about background receive. Background receive is something happening in background and you want to receive it. As I told you, and like some even happen in the system and you want to receive it, like uh, incoming call or uh, SMS or whatever happened in the system or the device put up. So if you are if you want to target the devices before Android or you have to make sure you could use most or still you will able to before Android or still you'll be able to use like by uh, calls, SMS, many events that happen in the system you still be able to listen to that events. If your application target Android O, you have to now you are limited. You are not able now to access to calls, you are not able to access to SMS, you are not able to access to many things. Only three things you could access to it in Android O. Boot completed, like that mean whenever your, your phone is a startup, you could define background service that listen to startup to make your job schedule it or your alarm work and that you will see it later on when you will see how we use how we make application or application working with the system we use this event or local change or usb device attach it whenever some device attach it so on android or you could you listen only to this three broadcast events that happen in the system and add to your application support both 
both that whenever you define application make sure you are support otherwise your application will not work on all devices so at this point what i want to show you in this video and thank you for watching and see you next